Mountain Lion came out a few weeks ago, you have that old computer sitting around that only has Leopard on it. But according to uh, the App Store, it requires OS X 10.6 or later, which is Snow Leopard. Today I'm going to show you how to install Mountain Lion over Leopard. Stay tuned folks. Hey folks, Brandon, your iMac helper here. Today I'm going to show you how to install OS X Mountain Lion on Leopard. So it says that it, it needs Snow Leopard 10.6 or later in order to install, but I'm going to show you how to do it without installing Snow Leopard first. So what you're going to need to do is if you've already installed it on a computer, like for instance this computer already has it installed, you're going to need to download it again. You, go, you can just hit this download button and it will download it to your applications folder. Now go ahead and drag it to your desktop. Then right click on it and say show package contents. Now you're going to want to navigate to the folder contents, shared support, and that's the file you're going to need. You can go ahead and leave that there for now. And now you want to open disk utility. Um, there's several ways you can get to it. You can go, hit go utilities and it will be right here disk utility or you can search for it up in spotlight go ahead and open it now what you need to do is drag the install ESD over into the sidebar in disk utility now click on that and click open this is going to mount it you can go ahead and skip the verifying step because we know it's an Apple file and it's okay alright now it's mounted now what we need to do is click on Mac OS X install ESD and click over on restore. Now we want to leave the source the same and we want to drag uh, whatever drive you want to use into the destination and go ahead and click restore. Now go ahead and click erase and it will ask you for your administrator password. Go ahead and enter that and now it's going to take um, depending on your drive speed and your computer speed it might take anywhere from 2 to 20 minutes. Um, for me it's going to take 5 minutes. All right, now it's done. So as you can see now, it has the macOS install ESD uh, as part of an external hard drive. So now I'm done working on this computer and I'm gonna have to switch to an external camera in order to film the uh, installing of all this because a screen capture program won't work when I am not in the actual OS. All right, now we're ready to go. So now, what you need to do is you need to make a backup of your whole entire hard drive. You can either use Time Machine or you can use uh, a program like Super Duper or Carbon Copy Cloner. And what these will do is they will uh, allow you to back up the whole entire computer so you'll get everything back exactly how it was. So if something goes wrong, then you can reinstall it all. And that's really important. And then also, once you're done, your drive's going to be wiped except for the OS and so you're going to have to put back all your files and so you, that's why you want to make sure you have a good backup and you also need to make sure that that backup works so if it's Time Machine you probably want to try uh, restoring something from Time Machine and if it is a uh, carbon copy cloner or something like that then you probably want to make sure you can boot from that drive um, so just make sure you do that alright so now as you can see we have uh, this drive we made the Mac OS install ESD and so now what we need to do is we need to restart and by the way this computer is running Leopard I'll show you real quick uh, if you can see that 10.5.8 uh, so now we need to restart and uh, boot from that install ESD so go ahead and restart and then once you restart as it's starting up you want to hold down the option key so starting right now hold down option Alright, there you go. Now you can see the drives that are currently connected to this computer. This would be your main hard drive. And then you want to go ahead and click on the Macintosh OX install ESD and click the arrow. 
what this is going to do is it's going to bring you up to a utility screen. Um, it'll have several options of stuff you can do. Um, so we got to go ahead and wait for that to boot up. All right, here we go. Now you can go ahead and choose English for the main language and hit the plus or the forward arrow. And now you'll want to click on Disk Utility and hit Continue. Now this is going to open this uh, Disk Utility scene, which we've seen before. A screen, sorry, not, I don't know what I'm saying. Alright, and now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to erase your Leopard Max drive. So that's this Macintosh HD right here. Now, this is why it was very important for you to back up because we are going to erase the whole entire drive. How you're going to do that is you're going to click on the Macintosh HD, you go over to Erase, and you want to make sure the format is Mac OS Extended Journal. Okay, there's a lot of different kinds, but you want to make sure it's the Extended Journal. Now go ahead and click Erase. And just like that, the whole entire disk is erased. All right, now that it's finished, we want to quit Disk Utility. And we'll come back to this screen. And we want to click on Reinstall OS X. So just click that and click Continue. All right, so now we just go through the OS X Mountain Lion setup. Um, you click on the disk you want to install it in, so you'll want to click on Macintosh HD. And now it is going to install. Now when it's done, what it's going to do is it's going to uh, restart the computer. And then you'll want to watch for a screen that will allow you to transfer your information to the Mac and you can do that from Time Machine and all your files will be back. Now it's restarted. Alright, and now you just have to wait while it installs. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but it says mine will take about 20 minutes. Alright, now that's finished. So now we just need to restart the computer. And now you have to go through the setup process. United States, you want to set up your keyboard. Alright, and now here is the most important part. There's a couple options you have. You can choose to get your information a couple different ways. One of the ways is another disk. So that is where you would uh, use Time Machine and you can get all your information back. But in my case, I'm going to do a clean install and manually put all the data back. So I'm just going to hit not now and continue. Okay, now you can continue. You have to agree to stop for a license agreement. And now you need to set up a new login. I'm going to blur this part out so you guys can't see what I'm typing.
And just like that, we're done. We are now running OSX 10.8 Mountain Line. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you check out my other videos and please subscribe. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video.